Hi, welcome to the Recirculating Aquaculture Systems. My name is Dr. Sarah Barento and I'm going to go through the basics of RES systems. So let's start by defining what a RES is. Basically and very simple, it's a system where the water is reused. So after each pass uh, through the tanks, the water will go again uh, back to the system and back to the tanks. So imagine where you have here, these are these two tanks here, these bigger tanks, is where your fish or whatever organism you're growing in the tanks, uh, you know, they have a, a, a food source, so they have here an automatic feeder potentially, and, and then of course they'll be excreting uh, waste products, and you want to, for you to be able to reuse this water, you will need to treat the water and make it uh, water needs to have the optimal conditions for uh, the growth of the, the fish, for instance. So you will need to have here what you have is a treatment, all the treatment system, you know, mechanical filtration, some sort of disinfection, in this case UV. And then you need to, uh, you know, make sure that you also have a biofilter and then it goes back to the system uh, with water that is in the best conditions for the, the species that you're growing. So let's look at, at this uh, closely. So a recirculating uh, aquaculture system has a minimal connection with the environment and the water source. It has a minimal exchange of water and you have control of water quality. This is why you can be uh, having a business in a very cold place in, 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 the, in the planet. You can be, you know, outside could be 10 degrees and you still can be growing uh, fish from a tropical um, habitat because you can control the temperature and everything, the pH, the water. So that is what the, the, the potential for a recirculating aquaculture system is. And also the fact that you're not wasting any, any water, actually you're trying to economize in the water that you're using. So um, these rare systems, they are holding systems. They must provide a suitable environment for the species to grow. Uh, bear in mind, there is no other option for the, those organisms to, to be able to get uh, all, the, all the things that they need, including the food, the optimal temperature, the optimal pH. So they are basically, these rare systems, they are a life support system. So, and because of this, you need to be very careful and you need to understand the parameters that affect the growth and well-being of, of a fish. Um, the organic matter that you, that you have in the system, you need to know the optimal feeding rate for the species that you have and the life stage that your species is at. Uh, the stocking density, this is very variable between species. The carbon dioxide in the system, but also, of course, all these other parameters, sorry, all these other parameters, the oxygen, the water flow, uh, of course the light is important, uh, not only the amount of light, some species they prefer to be in darker conditions, uh, but also the duration of how many hours of uh, do you have uh, light in the system. Uh, but of course then temperature, temperature, salinity and pH, they're also very important. So um, the eating, the feed, and using oxygen results in fish growth. Of course, they are they, the, the fish that consume oxygen. You need to provide them with the ideal uh, feed for the species, the ideal size of the feed. So if you're using pellets, um, they have a pellet size, which is specific for the life stage of your fish. And of course, uh, they metabolize all this, and then they have, as a consequence, they excrete the, the waste products from, this, uh, from their metabolism. So... Uh, they, they consume oxygen, they uh, eat their feed, and of course then they excrete ammonia, which can be toxic in low amounts, even in low amounts. And then you have carbon dioxide and of course the fecal matter. So this means that within the system, and what's what I was showing, uh, basically these are the components of, of, of the system. So you have your fish um, consuming oxygen, excreting carbon dioxide, ammonia and fecal matter. And then of course you'll need to your system needs to remove the, initially the waste solids, you know, that fecal matter um, and other particles that may have. Uh, and then you need to get rid of the ammonia uh, or um, ammonia is toxic. So you need a biofilter to oxidize the ammonia. And then you need to remove the carbon dioxide. And then there needs to be a system to aerate the water. Uh, your fish need, need that oxygen and uh, a system to disinfect the water. So these are the very basic components of a recirculating aquaculture system. In the next videos, I'll be showing uh, a bit more detail uh, about this each and individual um, component of a recirculating aquaculture system. So I hope this video was useful. This is just introduction, very basic introduction uh, to, to rest systems. So in the next video, I will be focusing on the waste solids.